Today we check out the Vosk's Death Grip, a newly added shotgun with a takedown at the Maliwan Black Site. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and today I bring you another Borderlands 3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself, follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. So the Vosk's Death Grip is a real unique shotgun which outside of the raid only drops from Troy Calypso upon Mayhem 4. Which in my opinion is your best bet at farming. The other ways drops from the Valkyrie squad and Walton within the Maliwan raid. Okay, so this shotgun, the Vosk's Death Grip. A good death is its own reward. This red text reference, I believe, is in reference to General Zod's right hand accomplice, Feyora, within Superman Man of Steel. She says this in this movie and then it's said to her just before she dies. A good death has its own reward. Now, this could be from somewhere else, but this is where I recognize it from. So let's check out its stats. The variant which I have, the best one I have, it does 558 times 6 damage, 67% accuracy, 69% handling, a reload timer of 2.4 seconds, a 1.32 fire rate and a magazine size of 6. This with a plus 163% weapon damage, a plus 20% charge speed, consumes 6 ammo per shot which is kind of pricey and this will eat away the ammo with a 1.5 times zoom. Vast grass refills every 6 seconds also. This variant offering that radiation. Now it does come in all elements, as far as I know. So this shotgun is actually really unique and it's definitely not your typical borderland shotgun. So if we check out how this thing works, we see it has a slight charge time, with the three dots filling around its sights. It then unleashes 12 projectiles, which then tether to one another, creating basically six lasers. This shotgun's other fire mode is Voss Grasp. It fires a disc which creates a singularity which sucks enemies in. So I guess the way this is used is you shoot this uh, Vos grass which sucks in enemies then you tether them with its other mold. So what is this capable of damage wise? So the 12 projectiles it shoots create 6 line tethers, 6 lasers so to speak. Now each tether is capable of doing up to 16 ticks of damage. And yes multiple tethers can damage the same enemy. And these tethers last roughly around 4 seconds. This also hits a crit spot for just over double that non-crit spot damage. So theoretically the fact each tether deals up to 16 ticks of damage and there are 6 of those tethers and seeing that with the handsome jack test dummy we are doing 2250 per tick to the crit times that by 16 and then we have an average of possible damage this thing can deal of 36,000 in 4 seconds which under my testing against this test dummy is actually quite a high DPS. Not the best, but it's up there. Also to add, if you are close enough, these will stick to an enemy and deal maximum damage. If you fire them at the floor or wall, they will explode instantly. So let's check out how effective the Voss Grasp is. This, like it states, charges every 6 seconds. Now to be honest, under my testing, I won't lie to you guys, I don't think this is all that effective. I mean in certain instances it does work, but I actually don't feel it's that beneficial. I will also state the range of both fire modes are very, very short, with 0% option in extending them. The damage the standard mode produces though is really, really good, like seriously good. But again with this, you are limited in instances this is actually going to be efficient. So my thoughts on this shotgun, the Vosk's Death Grip. It's super powerful and it does indeed mount shields. It's actually a Maliwan shotgun which is quite decent. I do think this is a shotgun though that is limited in what it can be efficient with. Enemies that are stationary I feel this would work 100% best on. It's alternate firing mode in my opinion isn't that great and there are many singularity grenades which would work miles miles better. It's a nice addition but not needed in my opinion. It is good for staggering enemies that are bunched up so you can switch to its normal firing mode but personally I don't feel in the heat of a battle it's going to be all that handy. The single target damage though what this thing is capable of is literally incredible. If you stick an enemy if you are close enough to said enemy you won't need many shots to kill them no matter the size of them. But again getting close to certain enemies can be risky. So all in all, it's a good shotgun for the right instance. Actually, a shotgun that reminds me much of the Anarchy Exotic from Destiny, which works in a similar way. Is it good enough to take the place of a previously heavy hitting shotgun? I don't think it is, but that's just me. This really doesn't fit my place though. 
Obviously, we all play relatively different, and if this looks to be a weapon suit to you, or you see a purpose for this, again, Troy Calypso on Mayhem 4, or the Valkyrie Squad, and Walton from the Raid, are where you get this from, people. So good luck in farming, guys. For me, if I had to rate this out of 10, I'd give it a solid 6. Yes, it does impressive damage, but that damage under my testing is seriously situational. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.